Welcome to a quick tips video for Clip Studio Paint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your line art brush after you're finished drawing your line art, or I guess at any point in your drawing process, you can change your brush for the lines that you have. And to do so, we will be using vector layers. And there are two steps to sort of doing this. First, I'll show you how to actually change the brush for the line art. And then the second thing I'm going to show you is how to add brushes to the preset so that you can actually choose other brushes outside the default preset that Clip Studio Paint shows you. So this is super useful for testing out different looks and you can do this uh, and change even after you've finished coloring your artwork. So this is going to help you hopefully find your line art style and just allow you to make that change at any time. And uh, before we go on, subscribe for more Clip Studio Paint tutorials and digital art tutorials from me. I'm Shy Fox, and uh, yeah, that'd be greatly appreciated if you So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to look at, I've got um, uh, a line art here of a project I've already finished, but I've just brought it down to three layers. I've got the yellow, which is the line art layer we're looking at. I'm weird, so I always have my eyes on a separate layer. So we're going to kind of ignore the eyes in this, but still have them showing as the art looks odd without them. And then the background layer, because it's sometimes it's just easier to see. So focusing on this yellow layer, I've labeled line art. It is in fact a vector layer. Vector layers are the only way to make this change. Vector is just a special type of layer. You can make one uh, by clicking this button here, new vector layer. So it has a little cube and those are the only kinds of layers you can use to do object transformations, which is what we use to do this. So clicking on the line art layer then, to change the brush, you want to make sure you've selected the operation tool. If it doesn't show up, it might be showing as one of these, but ultimately object tool, sub tool, object. And then down in the tool properties, there is something that says brush shape. So you can just drop down and pick any other brush shape you want. I used a pencil actually for this. Uh, artwork. So if we change it to pen, it kind of has a more intense, harsh look, more like a coloring book style than the softer pencil uh, look that we had before. And then there's like other brushes in here, but the catch is, is there's only a few, right? So it's like, okay, well, airbrush, probably don't want that. How can I add other brushes to this list? And so I'm just going to show you that that second step here. So let's just change it back to pencil. All right, so we wanna click on whatever brush we want. So let's say I click pencil and I've got like this mechanical pencil that I wanna try. So you can click it and then we're gonna go down to uh, the sub tool here. So down at the very bottom where the wrench is under tool property is the wrench, uh, show sub tool detail and that's gonna pop up for you and then you can click the brush shape tab here and basically you're just going to click add to presets so i've clicked it it's now showing up at the top we then can go back to our object uh, tool here and it should show up in the list and there it is boom so now we've added it and whether we like it or not is a whole other thing but this is how you're able to change it and test it out and try different looks for yourself. Now, uh, if, you, if this helps, let me know, like, comment, and you can check out my other line art videos, uh, particular ones you might like, 10 tips how to master line art, and another video if you're a Clip Studio Paint user is six tools to make clean and easy liner in Clip Studio Paint. So those are just really good, helpful tips for you. I'll link those in the description as well and have them at the end of the video. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, hope that helps. Have a great one.